exciting of our <laughs> curling marathon. Uh, Steve Kalbach is in the box here. Hello, hello. How was your experience playing out there? Uh, it's tough. Uh, it turns out that I am just as bad at short spiel as I am at regular <laughs> curling. It's harder than it looks, I will say that, yeah. having tried it and been absolutely pawing at it. It's very difficult. The weight, so you have to throw just your arm, I don't know. Yeah, just at, at, the, uh, at the beginning of the game, I was definitely uh, very light on everything. And by the end of it, I had to, uh, I had to steal four for the win. Oh. I wasn't able to do it. Yeah, that's a tough one to get a full render. there. Yeah. So, uh, so Judy Rackson's going to come into the box here. Well, I'm going to step out for a little bit. But you're in good hands with Judy and Steve. All right. Unfortunately, I don't have an, an amazing accent like Andy. But oh, we'll, neither we'll, do I. We'll try to do the best we can. Although, you know, we were just in, in Scotland, and everyone thought he sounded American. So, <laughs> you know. um, so, yeah, Andy has been doing a marathon commentating session, so he is getting some dinner, which is uh, well-deserved, except he's in the back of the longest dinner line I've ever seen at a Bonspiel. Yeah, that's tough. They, yeah. Okay, so we've got, uh, let's see, we've got Matt and Jody. I believe they're playing the Red Rocks that were on Cheat C here, and the Apollo Sweepers. Uh, playing the yellow, is that right? Uh, that appears to be the case. Yeah, let me catch, catch up on where we're at. Uh, Matt and Jody are red. Matt yes. and Jody are red. Okay, great. No, they're not, because I see Kate throwing red. No, no, we're doing sheet C. I thought we're doing sheet C. Okay, yeah. I have no idea what's going on. Fine. Okay, <laughs> sheet C. No, no, no wait, that's not right. We're definitely doing sheet B. Yeah. All right, the team names are switched. Let me fix that. One, two, three, switch. Yeah, the Apollo Sweepers made up of Kate and Chris' son. Whoops, and, and Matt yes, and Jody are made of Matt and Jody. It's nice when they name them like that. Yes, yes, it's simpler. So it looks like Yellow currently sitting two. Chris' son now in for, I believe, his second shot. Coming from the outside. Oh, a lot of weight on that one. Oh, oh yeah. That's I don't out. know if that's going to stick around. Nope. Uh, You're going to have to replace yep, that. Yep, that's out. It's tricky to put those rocks back and remember exactly where it was. Yeah. All right, so it's currently two yellow for Matt and Jody. It looks like they're looking to maybe split up the yellow and the red, push the red even more farther, farther to the outside. Ooh, maybe not with that sort of angle. No, they're... I don't know if they're trying a draw or what, but that was just might, really It might weird. just be a guard. Yeah, we're uh, going to call it a guard. Yeah, it's a guard, but it's... it's in. In short house, you know, that being that uh, that that high, I guess, isn't very useful. No, no, not really. Because it's almost like the house is shrunken to just the forefoot. Pretty much, yeah. So now here's Kate, and I would try to no, yeah. Yeah, she's trying to double. Oof, yeah. That's gonna be tricky to like have enough weight to double and keep the rock sticking around. Oh. She's got one. Out. She's Ooh. got one, but yellow's gonna stick around for one. Stick around, but they could run that back pretty easily now. I thought that was their last rock. Oh, was it? Okay, I'm not uh, paying any attention. Oh, oh, wait, no, I see two more. I could be totally wrong. It I happens a lot. I see five rocks in play and one went out, so that's six rocks. There's, yeah, there's two more. Okay. So this is skips rocks on both. It looks like another guard. Now, it looks like you can run that, uh, that red on the center line back, push that yellow out, and I think red would get three. Well, at least two. Let's see. But it looks like they're going to come from the outside here. Hmm. And just try the angle raise. And, and he's done that'll it. do. So nice. One red. One red. So after the first end, it is one nothing. The Apollo Sweepers. That's right. So do we know what event they're in right now? Is uh, this the I B event? I think it's the B event. Uh, I think the I think. Uh, we play, Hillary and I play the winners of this game in the next oh, okay. draw, in, well, in the 7.30 draw. Yeah. And, you're draw. and you're still in the B event, right? We're still in the B event. We're yeah. just looking at the draw. If we end up in the, lose the next one, we're in the D event, we could potentially have four more games after ah. that. It's a very long way down through the D event. It is, it is. So, we'll, you know, maybe we can beat these guys or whoever wins and stay in the, in the B. Yeah, we are, we are currently in the C event. Okay. Um, Thanks to <laughs> sorry about that. Thanks to you guys. No, no. It was a good game. It, it's the short spiel. It's yeah. That's life. All right. So we're currently both rocks are touching the button, but it's I, I would it's say red. It's red right now. It's funny because looking at the overhead, it looks like red, but looking from where we're sitting, it looks like yellow. Yes. Oh, they're checking. They might not be sure. 
The overhead cameras, of course, are not exactly overhead, so that's tricky. Yeah, oh, that's tough. We, I mean, we would laser that if we had the <laughs> opportunity. Oh, Vince is there with his laser. He's ready. But they, uh, you this don't. You're not supposed to measure until the yeah, end yes, of the true. end of the end. But so. the uh, this is quite an innovative new measuring technique. It's much faster. Oh my God! Yeah, um, it's fantastic. Having the laser. So Craig, if you're still watching, maybe we should get one of these for the club. They can't be that expensive, right? I have no idea. I'm not sure if it'd be like how it, G you know, the GNCC or USA Curling would allow you know yeah. laser measuring. But you know, we had a rock we measured in our last game, and it was a difference of like. I don't know, 11, 30 an seconds, yeah. Yeah, it was it was tiny amount. All right, so Chris is able to kind of split those two rocks up a little bit. Uh, I think yellow is now sitting here, or now sitting shot. Yeah, um. but, mm, yeah, they could run that yellow back pretty easily. It's got plenty of backing. Oh, yeah. And it looks like that's the plan, too. I don't know. I kind of like trying to force the yellow in between the, the yellow and the red there. Is there room? Well, I mean, you gotta move the rocks around, I guess. Yeah. And it looks like they're trying for the run back, but there's not a lot of weight on that. Now it's just gonna freeze up. So yellow's still sitting one. I, mean, I wonder if they could sort of do a double run back, you know, run the yellow into the yellow into the red. It looks like they're gonna try to get into that pocket there. Kate coming with a right, decent amount is, of weight. This is, of course, this is red. Yeah. Hmm. If they're able to split to fit through there, they might be able to knock that yellow shot rock out. And then nestle right into that pocket. Yeah, oh yeah. You're looking to see if that angle's there, and I'm not so sure it is. It's not a big port. No, you'd basically have to force the rock through. Yeah, enough force so you don't shoot anything off. Oh, there it goes. Uh, they were able to widen the port and yeah. push the red out, but yellow is still shot and yep. quite well protected. But you can you can bounce off that red rock and be able to take it out That's though true. with the right angle, and even with the wrong yeah. angle, it's yeah. If you just close. run it kind of back at that angle, and I mean that's what I guess one of the big benefits of, of short house is that you can get a whole variety of angles that you cannot get. You know, you don't have to worry about the curl very much. It's no. just about how good you are at lunging. And as the day goes on, I think we're all going to get. More, to more, more tired there. Yeah, but Pretty everyone sure stretches out a little bit more, so it's not so bad. Yeah, I think I need to stretch before my next game for sure. I think you might be right. I'm right there with you. Okay. Here is, is this Matt or Jody? It's Jody. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jody able to push that red shot back. Yep, yellow shot now. Yep. And they control the front of the house as well. So now with red's last shot, you know, what would you do here? It's, I mean, you could run the yellow back and push it out through those between those two reds. Um, but then it would be, I guess, red would still be sitting one. But it's hard to manage that weight. So many rocks in such a small area. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite different than uh, regular curling. Oh, yeah. I mean, you don't have any real guards. You don't have any. Well, that's the thing. Is a guard is sitting, is, is like that one that's right right in front of the forefoot. Yeah. All right. It looks like they're going to come from the right side It's here. also strange that everything, the house is upside down. <laughs> yes. And they're able to jam it in there. It looks like yellow is still shot, though. I mean, uh, we have sitting one. six rocks inside. Uh, seven. I mean, that are inside the forefoot. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, the one that's not in the forefoot is just, just barely, barely missing. Yeah. So I think I would play a double run back here, try to push that red second shot back. It's got a lot of weight because there's two rocks behind it. Yeah. Well, I guess you just have to push it onto the button. I mean, if you could push it with enough, well, nah, that's not possible. Now they're also taking a look at the right side there. Which would be mm. a tricky shot. I, I don't think it's there. Well, they could run back the um, the one that the far the one that's the furthest from the button. They ran it kind of straight back into the shot stone. Ah, yes. Then they could maybe get two or three. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying. If yeah. the the one that's on the left side, if they run that back into the shot rock, there we go. Bop bop bop. 
And ooh, that's close. It's definitely at least one yellow, but they I might need to one. measure for the second. Oh, you know, I was looking at the house completely upside down. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is one yellow? Um, oh, I don't know. They've decided, whatever it is. Well, we'll find out in a moment. Uh, it's nice of them to face the scoreboard towards us. We should have nice. done that. Ah, they give it two yellow. Two yellow, okay. So yellow now leads two to one after the second end. And of course, if you've been watching, uh, short house rules only six ends. So we'll six ends, four rocks per end, but it, yep. it goes fast. Yeah. Or sorry, eight rocks per end. All right, decent start there. Yep, that's like the perfect what we're calling the center line guard. Yeah. It's not really a guard; it's inside the forefoot. But it's it's sort of the it's what everybody's starting each end with. And Kate able to push that behind the T line now. Uh, very nice shot. Yeah, I mean, it's wide open. Looks like they're going to try to set up another center line guard. It's a good strategy. Having a center line guard is never a bad thing. Yeah, I mean, you really got to play to the, the front of the forefoot so you can push things back. But I, I think it's underrated getting rocks out of play. I mean, out of, not out of play, but f out of the forefoot. Yeah, oh, certainly. So we, we did a bit of that in our last game, and I think there was one end where it was useful just to open things up for yeah, you know, certainly. When, when, you, when, you, when you have hammer. Well, you guys kept freezing your own rocks into the onto the button. It was like, what do we do? <laughs> Let's just blow it up and see what happens. Yeah, it's dangerous. No, yeah, but you held us to one and uh, you know, every end. Yeah, but you were stealing most of those ends. <laughs> well... <laughs> Oh, we're right. up to 17 viewers. Nice. Thanks so much uh, for joining us. This, well, at least since, oh, just dropped to 14. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> as soon as I said that. <sighs> but, you know, you have to be dedicated because you have to, uh, you know, each each draw we're doing is a separate broadcast. So yes, you have yes. to actually, like. And there's no filler space here. All right, here comes the third shot for Matt and Jody. And Looks like they're going to come around the right behind, side. Yeah. A little heavy, but I think it's okay. Uh, it's kind of actually almost kind of light and wide because it's exposed. I think they wanted to get closer to the. the front yeah, red I think one. I think you could run back the red that's on the center line. Uh, looks like they're gonna come from the outside though. I think they're trying to draw it to that port, like in between the front red and yellow. And it looks like they just push it back. Yep. Is that oh. gonna stick oh, around? Oh. Yes, it is. There you go. All that's right, so nice. it looks like. From my angle, yellow is still sitting shot. I believe so. Yes, but definitely. From the overhead cam while they're looking at it. But depending on this next shot, if red's able to get the score, they could be in for a big payday. Yeah, and they're sitting two, three, four. Yeah, I mean, if they run one of their front red ones back into that yellow one, that'd be huge. Yeah. But of course, it's a yellow shot now. And this is the last rock for yellow in this end. Is yellow now or red? It's yellow now. Okay. The problem is we're from where we're sitting, <laughs> off of the players are actually blocking our, our direct viewing angle. Yeah. It looks like they might be just trying to blow everything up. Uh, just pushing the shot rock back a little bit. And that's a good job. Uh, now yellow is sitting one. Uh, the, the tap back is still there, though. And uh -huh. yeah, it looks like they're gonna go for that. And if they successfully complete this, it'll be red too. Because I, I don't see any way to get more than two. I've just noticed that we have the same uh, camera angle up there. Yep. Right here. Oh, on hey, monitor. hi. Yes, because it's upside down where we've been watching it over on the other screen. Oh, so what a yeah. very nice takeout. Yeah. All right, good oh. job by Chris Sun. And it looks like it's gonna be two red for that end. So red retakes the lead, three but to two. Yep. Too red. Ooh, what? Oh, it went out. Ah. Uh, so so, so it, it was one, one yellow. Okay. That was one yellow. One yellow. I was wondering. It looked it looked like it went out, but then there was a uh, the rocks away. Okay, one yellow. I missed yellow. that part. I always get so yeah, excited when I see that. a rock fly out of play. But yeah, not not in this game. No. Oh, he's, he's kicking himself there. Yep, giving the international sign for choking. All right, so we are in the fourth end already, and this is, um, it is 3-1, yellow. 
Here's Kate looking to draw around, and looks like she's done so fairly well. well it's kind of exposed, but that's quite exposed, totally yeah. fine. It's the first rock. It's a good setup rock. It's in front of the T line, which is what's important. Right. Back. Looks like yellow yeah, was shot though. Well, it's um, hard to tell. From that angle, I'd say red, but mm. who Not knows? Sure. There's still plenty of rocks to go. Well, it's moved now anyway. Yep, now it's definitely red. Yep, now it's definitely even back eight. <laughs> yep, and now in fact, I'd say red too. Jody getting ready for their second shot, looking to draw around, and looks like they've done so quite nicely. Uh, still a little bit exposed, but on the whole, a pretty good shot. So with red now, I wonder if they want to tap that front red one back. That's not a bad move. Try to push out the yellow or just try to put it on the button? Oh, uh, pushing out the yellow would be a tough angle. Well, maybe not. I mean. Uh, Depends Depen how flexible they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a whole new skill set here in Short House. I don't know. Kate used to be a gymnast, so Did I think she'd be okay. Yeah, she's stretching over. It looks yep. like that's what she's going for. Always important to stretch before a good short spiel. All right. So you don't have brooms in this game, uh, mm -hmm. using hand gestures to uh, mark the angles. Oh, oh very nice. nice. Very nice. Okay, red is shot, partially covered. Well, you can That's still probably hit it. Yeah, you can You can almost definitely hit this. but and could jam, but probably yeah. not. The question is you've got to slip it around so that you're hitting it the left side of the nose of the shot rock. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, but they've done oh, so. Oh, but it's out. Oh, that's a tough break. Yep, the red gets to put it back. So now it's it's a last stone for Kate and Chris, Apollo sweepers, and they could just knock that yellow, push it back, and they'd be sitting three. Yeah. That would be a comeback. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely the way to go. I they just agree. have to make sure that... Uh, Even if it jams, I mean, there's... Oh, yeah, if it jams, that's fine. As long as it stays in. Yeah. And they may actually be planning for that. Oh, that'll nice. do nicely. All right, Very that's nice. three red. Um, oh, there's one more rock? Yep, there's a hammer. Oh, sorry. Yep. Not yet. No. Oh, no, 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 that no that's that right. They knocked the okay. one out. Yeah, that's what Three I red. Three red in the fourth end. Oh, they needed that very badly. So now red takes the lead four to three uh, with just two more ends to go. I think we're slipping a little bit behind. We're, so the next draw will probably start about 6.15, I'm guessing. On the whole being 15 minutes late, not horrible. Well, it's such a tight schedule, it's not surprising. I think we started about 10 minutes late anyway. Oh, okay. That's that's actually pretty impressive. Well, there's no ice prep. That's helpful. Yes. Although I do kind of wonder if we're starting to wear down the pebble. Yeah. It'd yeah. be nice if someone just pebbled even just the houses for uh, for the final. Yeah. That'd be nice. I mean, this is what, draw seven? Draw seven, yeah. Yeah, there's or seven. There's maybe six. Six, so yeah. There's 14 draws tonight. Whew. I'm not sure what the maximum number you can play are, but <laughs> it might be get, get going dropping down to the D event. I guess that's usually the case. Yeah. Yeah. I All right. This is set up well. I mean, either yeah, tap, tapping. Yeah, just tap it back. It's behind the T line, so you can continue to tap. Yeah. Uh, yellow, I imagine, will come from the right side here. Try to draw behind. Yeah, I agree. Looks like they're going to come from the left, or no. He's going to come straight on. He's going to try to tap back. Huh. I'm not sure what he's doing here. Actually, he's guarding. Well, I guess he's guarding from, that's interesting. We that's haven't seen a lot of like defensive strategy yeah. yet, but 
I've been saying earlier, the, str the strategy is going to evolve as the game continues. It's getting yeah. more complex. But they're now, they're now guarding the tap up of either red stone, which is. I don't know. I think well, the angle raise is definitely there. I mean, they're guarding it from the hack, but the problem is you can stretch, you know, four, f six feet over, yeah. depending how you, how stretched and flexible you are. Maybe not six. Oh, feet. is that going to stick around? Oh, it's out. It is not. <laughs> Didn't Kate, Kate seems not look less happy. than happy. Yeah. I think they had the better angle from the right side. They may want to try that for the next one. Yeah. I mean, was she just trying to, you know, she just hit it too hard. The whole new, you know, calibration of your weeks in this game. Yeah. And even I really like that the tie breaker is, is skips rocks to the hog line, <laughs> which is like much, much further than any other rock you've been throwing oh, in yeah, the entire that's, game. That's kind of ridiculous. So it's, it's a good challenge. Yeah. And let's face it, this entire event is predicated on the ridiculous. Yes. So this is a ridiculous well. event. I agree. All right, what are they trying to do here? It so looks like they are going to try to stretch around and draw behind. Yeah. Uh, the right side is, is, is wide open. Yeah. Is it right? I'm it's the right side, yeah. All my angles confused here, <laughs> looking at all these different camera angles. He still got it. And the rock's away, and that doesn't... Oh, not, not quite far enough. No, no. So you can try the the run back again with the redstone. You can try to bounce off the yellow rock they just threw. Something along those lines. Mm, there's they there's options tap here. one of the red ones back into the, uh, yeah, into the shot stone. Yeah. Is this, this is not their last turn. Or er, no, they, they missed one, so this is their last. All right, Andy is back. Uh, you want to take over so I can get some dinner? Okay, I'm going to take a break for a few minutes. Here's Andy again. <laughs> All right, with that last shot, uh, looks like Red wasn't able to take over Shot Rock, so Yellow currently sitting one, uh, down one in the fifth end. Hi, Andy. Welcome back. Wow, thanks. It's good to be back. Um, How was dinner? Pretty good, yeah. I, uh, I feel much better now. Good, um, good. I'll definitely be getting some after this game. Absolutely. So what's the situation? So yellow is currently down one. Red had a nice uh, three spot in the last end. Uh, with the hammer, they're already sitting one and seeing if they can get two hmm. or possibly more. Interesting. So it looks a bit tricky to get the second point. Yeah, they're coming from the right side trying to tap, up. tap up. And it looks oh, like they've done it. Slightly. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, well done. done. Two yellow. Two yellow. All right. All right, so after five ends, it is now yellow. Uh, it's Matt and Jody, five, and Team Red, the Apollo Sweepers, uh, with four. So Red will have the hammer going into the final end. They need one to tie and two to win. All right. Yeah, another close game. Yeah, it's, it's hard to have a major blowout in the short spiel, I think. Yeah. Although I just suffered one against Judy. <laughs> but I see what you mean, though. Like, it's... Because it's all playing around the forfeit area, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hard to score more than one or two points an end. So uh, as usual, we see the sort of top eight throw for the first stone. It looks like Kate's going to go again with the top eight. That's the plan anyway. Uh, just drawing around behind. Ooh, that's very nice. Yeah, we've seen a lot of teams do that, draw around immediately. And uh, talking with Scott Dalrymple earlier about that, Neither of us are big fans of that play no. at first because because you're vulnerable to tap back straight away. Much like that. Like, exactly. And so, alternatively, you could immediately play a tap on the first rock. And just to, even just to move it off the center line or move it to the back house or sideways, whatever you like. Um, but we haven't seen a lot of teams do that. Oh, this looks like it's a no, little that's out. too much weight there. So, oh dear. It's going to have to come back. And, and uh, Red loses that stone. So this could be very bad for, uh, for Red after this. Yeah, they're going to have to try to figure something out. <coughs> the good news is, though, they still have the hammer. So there are they're going to have options. It It's just predicated on the first three stones as to how good those options are. Yes, absolutely. So... Uh, Oh, and we're going to be joined 
Oh, no. no. Spencer just wants to listen to We're us. We're going to have a uh, silent commentator, Spencer. Um, so, yeah, going to be a bit of a sticky situation for uh, the Apollo sweepers. Yeah, it looks like, looks like Matt and Jody, if I had to guess, I'd say they want to come around the left side, uh, hang on the uh, the left side of the forefoot. Yeah, I like that. Uh, it's a... Uh, Puts the pressure on. Yeah, it puts the pressure on. It kind of takes that redstone out of out of commission. Well, they're still still thinking it over, but I think that should be the call. Uh, they're asking if uh, one of the stones that rolled off of sheet C should count for red <laughs> on sheet B. I don't think they'd mind. No, I don't think so. All right, so he's going to play that drawn out. Looking for a top four, I think. And looks like he's got it. That'll do nicely. Yeah, pretty good. So now, what do you do if you're... Uh, I mean, you can try to draw around, I think, on the right side if you're really flexible. Um, you can try to push things back. Yeah, I think I like making a play on that rock that was just thrown. Push that back. Um, or... Frankly, I kind of like... Um, nosing the uh, the front guard. I think you'd be able to split those two yellows. Yeah, that's not a bad idea either. I think it looks uh, like they're going to come from the left the side and oh. try to draw in. And, ooh, well, yellow's still shot, but now it's a lot closer. Yeah, good try, but... And it kind of takes those yellow guards a little bit out of play. Well, I wonder, though, it's... I worry that red's not going to have a shot at the end after this. Uh, yeah, depending on what happens with this next shot, it's it's going to be tough. They're going to try to sit right on that redstone, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, it's sort of like a guard almost here. Yeah. So it's quite... Oh, wow, wow. He threw that look more away oh, than I Oh, a little too much. I don't think that was... Well... See, now, if they're able to push that yellow shot rock out, they'd be sitting two, and they'd have the win. Uh, yeah, having said that, no. Now, how you that's <laughs> tough. Exactly how yeah, you get there. Can you get that's there? Like can you stretch around enough to get there? I don't know if you can. Especially coming from the left side. I, I don't think either of them are lefties. There might be a way to <laughs> double it. Yeah, maybe from the right side. It's tight, but... It's a, it's a tough shot, but it's there. I, yeah. It's oh, very no, difficult. Chris is a lefty, isn't he? It's very difficult to get the right weight. Uh, yeah. But I think it's theoretically possible. Well... They're looking I mean, at it is it. for the win, so. Yeah, that would be for the two. Um, I don't really see any way to just get one as if it is the other thing, so. Yeah, afraid so. Um, so there's no, well, he's thinking about it. Maybe if you if you froze to your to the red that's there already. That, you might be shot. Uh, that would be close, yeah. Um, I'm not sure you'd want to measure that. Yeah, no, it looks yeah. like they're kind of going to come from the right side. I think he might be trying to draw down to his own red, and then you would sit shot. It's definitely a draw, and oh, look at that curl. Oh, but it's going to curl out way. Oh, yeah, no, nope, I don't think it's got enough. Not quite. No, it's going to be yellow. Yep, so that is a steal of one uh, for yellow, and that is the game for Jody Matt, and, and Matt. Matt. And that well was done to them. The last game we had going on, so that concludes draw. Oh, what draw are we on now? Six, I think. Six, goodness me. All yep, right. Only eight more to go. Yes. <laughs> so we'll, as usual, we'll be back in just a few moments with draw seven. Thanks for watching. Stick with us. All right. We'll be right back.